Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. I'm here with my good friend Henry, and depending on when I've edited this, you may have seen him in previous vlogs. Otherwise, Henry's here, uh, he's the one holding the camera, so he can't really wave or anything. And he came to me with an idea. He's got this vision for a video of this little panda hanging out of a window, and he said, what camera should I use? And I said, well, I'm in Western this weekend, let's use my camera. So we've got a little setup here, and you can kind of see that here. So we've got this panda, we've got the Sony A7R, uh, we've got a microphone here, but it's going to some music, so that's purely just kind of just to get some raw audio with it. Uh, we've got this light setup on the tripod using the Gorilla Pod, but I'm not sure if we're going to be using that too much really. And the whole concept is to get a video through the wing mirror of the panda. What's the panda called? Jeff. So through the wing mirror of Jeff. That's how he's going to look in a, a one take video. So that's how it's working and we're feeling good. Let's roll. I reckon about 20 miles an hour, yeah? Yeah, I reckon smooth in an ideal world, yeah, for a smooth shot, I think that's probably gonna be. How you doing, Jeff? Am I uh, making a voice for Jeff? <laughs> so we've just done first drive, and uh, it seemed to go all right. Jeff hasn't fallen out the window yet, so it's, it's, the all, important thing. it's all good. Uh, it's a bit windy but that's what you get on the seaside, really. So the general idea now is we're gonna drive to the location that we need to film, uh, which is kind of like a wooded area along a bit of a, a cliff edge, and then see how it looks, and pretty much just do the road a few times, uh, try and get the best take. Uh, so some specs that we're shooting with, so we're in 4K, and we're using a flat picture profile of uh, S-Log2, and the reason that we're doing 4K, we're gonna scale it down to 1080, but we know there's gonna be a huge amount of stabilization needed, so with 4K, you've got that extra crop you can kind of crop into, and uh, kind of get things stable and working all right. Other than that, it's a pretty simple setup, isn't it? Yeah, like we have weighted down the tripod quite a lot and found a way for it to um, stay grounded. We've got enough weight on it, so that hopefully most of the, the knocks and things don't come through, but also the way the camera's positioned, it should any knock that happens will be in line with the mirror where the panda's kind of seen. So it's only the background that's going to essentially shake. Um, so it should be quite straightforward in, in post to kind of get rid of that or clean it up. Yeah. Where are we, Jay? We're in Death Valley. <laughs> now, this is uh, Kewstoke Road and it's a pretty moody location. It's notoriously bad for drink driving and, and all sorts. I say notorious because that's quite a deathly drop down there. And um, yeah, it's not a good road for that. But it is a good road for filming. And we've just done, what, five minutes? Yeah, one pass, it's like the perfect length for it. And we've come out to the end of the road. So, the next part of the road I'd like to try is a bit down here. Oh, bloody hell. Did that completely wrong. It's like a test of your driving skills on YouTube. <laughs> that is a pretty surreal shot, isn't it? Mm. So, we've just done the road along... What am I trying to say? <laughs> we've just done the road, uh, the original one we planned, basically along the kind of cliff's edge, I suppose is the best way to describe it. Um, there's a lot of trees, it's quite dark, it's got probably quite a high dynamic range. Um, so one of the questions I have for Joe, because I don't know cameras as well, is how do we kind of compensate for stuff being so bright and so dark at the same time and that contrast? Yeah, so the main settings we've got on the camera, uh, so we're shooting at 1 50th of a second and we have to maintain that because the camera's shooting at 25 frames a second. You need to have double your frame rate. Um, just for that sort of creative film look. Uh, you can see many tutorials on YouTube about this. I'm, I'm not going to go too much into detail on that. And um, we're shooting at, I think, f5, so we've got a bit of a bit of a shallow depth of field, but not too shallow, like not 2.8 shallow. Um, so it's, you know, we've got enough of the, the wing mirror in focus and then a bit of the background as well. And we're generally underexposing the shot because we're using the flat picture profile, you can raise up the highlights and stuff. Um, if you blow out the highlights, you can't really regain that very much with video. So we're shooting below the exposure that you would normally say take a photo with and um, it's working all right. And now that we're in the second location, which is much brighter, 
Um, there will be less post-production to do, but we're still going to maintain the same settings. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, so oh, yeah, I think it's probably important as well to mention um, Jeff hasn't been harmed in this. He's got a really safe harness <laughs> uh, that he's in, and um, yeah, we've we've fashioned something really quite in. I would say ingenious for for making sure he's protected. Yeah, he's got his got himself a little duck seat, so it's all right. So there's no cars coming, and we're going to try the what are we are now route number three. Uh, this is along another bit of the seafront, but it's also quite moody and cinematic. So hopefully we can get a five minute shot out of this. Uh, and so far there's been no cars, so getting up early, it's worth it. It's paying off. To get the shot. Anyway. Let's head off. So there's two likelihoods for this video. Um, one where it's just one shot for about five minutes, um, kind of driving along through different, through the kind of scenes that we filmed already. Um, and the second style was gonna be where we cut between multiple locations, but of course, because the shot's fixed in position, it will look like just the background's changing and the Panda Jeff will be still in frame in the kind of uh, wing mirror. We haven't decided yet which is which it's going to be, whether it's going to be a single shot or cut between multiple. Um, but I suppose the reason for that being is we weren't sure until we kind of came and filmed it whether it will look good being one shot or not. Um, the key thing we don't want to do though is change the angle at all because I think that will mean that we have to film something a lot more purposeful then with lots of angles if we were to do that because it'd be kind of odd it changing once. Um, so yeah, the key concept is still the same, but we might splice between uh, the different takes that we've got and kind of cut between different stuff. It all depends when we go into the kind of creative process within um, our editor later to which one's going to be best. So I can't remember if I mentioned or not what this video is actually for. I think I just said it was a vision of Henry's. So this is part of, this is your band, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so this is part of Henry's band. Um, it's kind of like a, a video to go along with their music and it's it's quite a cinematic sort of theme behind it and everything that's uh it kind of makes sense I'm not going to go too much in detail of it it's, it's quite a personal track but it it adds up basically it, it basic, makes sense when yeah. you when you see it all um, so the lyrics uh that go with it and this kind of single shot and the reason of having i suppose an inanimate object uh in the wing mirror is quite pertinent to the track um, when you listen to it and have a listen to the lyrics, you'll probably add up what it's about. I'm going to leave it for you guys to do that, mostly to incentivize you to actually watch it. Um, <laughs> but our band's called Cautioners, um, and there will be eventually a link to this video. Although, to be fair, we're finishing off the album that we're recording at the moment, so it might be a couple of months before the video comes out. Um, but while I've got Joe here and an amazing camera and a car and everything else to use, I figured like this is such a great opportunity as he suggested it. So, yeah. So depending on when this vlog's edited, um, the music video could be ready in a couple of months, or if I'm really delayed editing this, then it might be ready tomorrow. So <laughs> who knows? But there will be a link, and I'll leave a little box here, and it'll just be an empty square for the most part until that video is available, and uh, then it will eventually link somewhere. So sorry it's a bit ambiguous, but I think that's pretty much it for the day, really, in terms of this vlog. So hopefully you found that interesting. You've got a few tips on some of the filming and uh, you enjoyed our setup. So that's me done. I don't know if you got anything to say. No, but I'm gonna do a clap out this time. I think I wanna steal your clap, so I'm gonna do the. Then we got the main attraction. Now this is a iMac 27 inch. Uh, this was a top spec version just before the 5K iMac came out. So it's a 3.5 gigahertz uh, quad core i7. It's got 24 gigabytes of memory. There's a three terabyte fusion drive. You see right out over there, that's my yells. <laughs> you need to include that in the vlog. <laughs> Maybe at the end. <laughs>